What people are calling today the fourth industrial revolution is some kind of mixture of technologies that are going to allow for the disruption of the way we currently do things. These technologies include 3D printing, robotization, uh, the internet of things. And people are guessing that that's going to change very much the way manufacturing and other industries are done today. Uber, for example, has disrupted taxi drivers. What is it going to do to manufacturing? The answer is that we don't really know. There are some forces that might make manufacturing move to the point of sale, so it will be more decentralized, more delocalized, opening up opportunities for more places to participate in the value chain, or it might actually concentrate things among the few places where robotization and other things might happen. Uh, whether this is going to make the world more unequal or more equal is, is up for grabs. It depends a little bit on the nature of the technology and how quickly it diffuses. Typically, uh, technologies are, are unequalizing, they are not inclusive, when in order to adopt a technology, you need to have previously adopted a bunch of other things. For example, Uber uses the fact that everybody has cell phones, the fact that there is GPS, the fact that there's cloud computing, uh, the fact that everybody has a credit card. So if you don't have the previous diffusion of these technologies, you cannot on top of that put other technologies. The same thing is going to happen with the Industrial Revolution. So uh, we really need to focus on policies uh, that will facilitate the diffusion of these technologies as fast as possible so that uh, more places will have a chance to participate in this adventure.